welcome to episode in the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're going to be accomplishing a few things. So we have our cores uh, API working, you know, cores working with our API. Uh, the next thing we need to do is actually fill it with some data. Now I can do that through the command line uh, with the Rails API. Uh, but I want to show you guys as well how to actually make a post request so we can you know, get the data we fill from the form uh, to go into our database and then have that show up instantly in our UI. Uh, we have a bit of an issue uh, in our UI right now. There's a bug, so we're going to fix that first, and then we're going to head over into fixing all the other stuff. Uh, so I'm going to head over here. And so what I want to show you guys is um, in the collection page, we have this form. And what I did was I added another first name and last name field because now in our contacts, uh, you know, in, in our data, in our API, we're going to actually have first name and last name as well. Um, so uh, all I did was just added this last name uh, and ch change the ref of the name into here or to the first name. Uh, so now we have a first name and a last name field. That's all I did outside of the screen. Now what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to fix this issue over here uh, that says, you know, uncaught in promise type error uh, slice is not a function. Uh, so the way I'm going to do that is basically I need to just add um, a weight over here. And basically, this is going to um, fix that whole issue altogether. So let me go ahead and do a reload real quick over here. So now the error is gone, and uh, that pretty much fixes it. And so what we need to do next is uh, we need to um, you know, actually make this form when we click Add, submit our request to the server, and so that we can, um, you know, we can process the requests, create the record in the database, and also have it show up here uh, on our front end. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to refactor the add function here all together. Um, and another thing is also we need to pass in, um, you know, we need to modify this add contact method uh, as well because we don't need to actually do a lot of things anymore. Uh, we need to actually call the, we don't actually need to do all this stuff anymore uh, so we can remove all that because the ID is going to be generated by our API server. Uh, in the database. So we don't need to give it the new ID. We just need to change this to first name. Uh, and then we have a last name. This dot refs dot last name dot value. Uh, and this dot refs dot first name dot value. Uh, and the email should work just fine. So we just add a comma there and that should be good. So we also need to, you know, kind of like once we click add, um, we need to kind of like null it out as well. So first name dot value will be null. And then the same for this dot refs dot last name dot value equals null. All right. So uh, what we need to do next is we need to refactor uh, the add function over here. Uh, and so the way we're going to do that is we're going to basically remove all this stuff. Uh, now, this is going to be a little bit rough. I just want to get the request actually working, and we can clean up and refactor co the code in a different episode. Um, so let's start off by actually making the request object that we're going to use to make the request with. Um, so we need to have uh, the set the header as well. So we need to set the header to make sure that the request that we're making is a JSON request. Um, so to do that, we're going to do uh, const headers equals new Header. So um, we can take take a look at the MDN documentation as well. Uh, it shows up how to shows us how to basically make the requests uh, using fetch. And here we are. We need to use a new headers. Uh, and then what we're going to do is just do a headers dot append uh, content type application JSON just to be sure. And then what we're going to do next is actually make the request object. So con const request equals new request. And then here we need to pass in the URL. So I'm going to copy this part over here as a URL. And we need to pass in the options. So uh, the options is going to just be uh, so const options equals. And we're going to have the method being post. Uh, and then we're going to have the headers. So we're going to have the headers object. 
And uh, because, you know, if the the name is the same, we don't actually need to do um, headers, headers anymore. So this is new in ES6. So I'm going to keep that clean like that. And then for the body, we're going to do JSON dot stringify. And then here we're going to pass in the data that we get from the form here. Uh, let me add semicolons to all that stuff. All right, so that's okay now. Uh, so what we need to do is uh, we need to then pass the options into the request object that we're creating over here with a semicolon. Uh, that's a semicolon as well. Great. Um, so now we have the actual request created, right? So this will work. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is actually create the response, actually make the request so that we get a response back. Um, and to do that, it's going to be very similar to what we did up here with fetch all. Uh, we need to do an async. So we're going to use async over here. And we're going to do a const uh, re response equals uh, await fetch. And then uh, we're going to pass in the request object that we just made. And basically, this is essentially just going to make that request for us. And what we need to do is get the status. So uh, const status equals await uh, response dot status. So now we really depend on the status that we get back from our server. Now I'm going to do a really quick, uh, you know, I'm going to open up my code base for the API to show you guys what's going on on the server side so that, you know, we know exactly like why I'm about to write the code that I'm about to write in the, in the front end. Uh, so I'm going to open up my uh, rail, my API, the invoiced over here. So this is just a pure API. Um, and so let me open up the controller. So we uh, we wrote this CRUD uh, controller uh, in our previous episode in the Rails API. I'm going to have it linked in the episode. So you can take a look at that if you want to. Uh, the status we're going to be returning is the created, which is 201. It's HTTP code 201 for created. So what we need to do then is we need to, in our uh, over here, the status, uh, we need to look for 201. So in this case, we're going to assume everything is going to be successful just to keep things simple. I'm going to do is if status equals 201, then, uh, you know, then, then we're going to do something, right? Um, so once we make the request, if it's created, what we really want to do is have our store reload, um, you know, the contacts to, sh to, to refresh itself, right? So what we're going to do is this dot all, uh, actually this dot fetch all. And that's it. So once we, we do this dot fetch all, it's going to make the request to get the contacts, you know, uh, the, the, including the new one we just created. Uh, and then basically it's going to update itself over here. Uh, so that will essentially, that essentially should work. Um, so once we have all this, uh, I mean, with this code, we should be able to uh, make that request and, uh, you know, and just have it work. Uh, so let's see. All right, so let's try this out. Um, I mean, we wrote a lot of code. I don't really know if this is going to work, but let's let's see. If there's any errors, we'll fix it as we go. So I'm going to head back over here into the collection, um, and basically I'm going to try out this add function uh, from here and see what happens. So I'm going to head over into the browser over here, uh, into our localhost 8080, uh, and I'm going to try and fill it out. So zach at codemy.net, zach uh, siri, Click add. And bam, as you can see here, something changed. So we can see here that, you know, the email is actually rendering now and the requests are going through and it updated like instantly. Now, the problem is in our view, we're not we're not rendering the right names. Uh, so what we need to do is just fix our view just a tad. Uh, so over here uh, in our contact component, we need to actually um, respond to the first name and last name. Uh, instead of just name, which is what we had from before. Uh, so I'm going to go over into the contact component, and then I'm going to change uh, this to first name, uh, and then uh, this.props.last name. So if I do that, I do a reload real quick. So let me just refresh there like that. Uh, we're going to see that it, it took a minute there. It took a second there 
to actually make that request. And now you can see the name is actually showing here. So now we can try adding another contact. So let me try. Uh, click add. You can see that that create made the request. So if I click on the network tab over here, you can see that it actually made the request uh, here. And then it created the object and it returned uh, and then it made another request to retrieve uh, all of the contacts that we have in the database and then display it over here. So as you can see, everything is now working. We're able to fill out our form uh, and have it all working. But the code is, you know, starting to it's starting to become repetitive. We have to make this like fetch, you know, and like, you know, this is not very nice, right? If we have multiple stuff uh, stores in our apps, which in the future we will, we can clean this up. Like for example, we're repeating the local host v1 contacts. Like this should be abstracted away somehow. Uh, so we're gonna look at you know cleaning all of that up. Uh, in upcoming episodes. In this episode, I want to wrap it up. I want to mention to you guys, thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you to all our paying members. Uh, the future episodes are not going to be free. So become a member on our site and uh, we appreciate your support. Uh, we appreciate those who are our, our paying members. Uh, you guys are what's making this whole process uh, possible. So with that, uh, I'm going to wrap it up and I'll see you guys in the next episode.